9 bank reconciliation statement bank reconciliation statement if you see is a statement it is prepared prepared on a particular date so it is prepared on a particular date now why do we prepare the statement it is prepared in order to what we say reconcile the differences between to reconcile the differences between your cash book and as book now what is cash book already we have discussed in the chapter cash book it is one of the original books in which we record cash transactions as far as brs is concerned you can keep in your mind cash book means the same cash book what you have done in the previous chapter you have done a triple column cash book so though we are using the word triple column cash book often it will be referred only with the name cash book in this chapter now though it is a triple column cash book whose format i have here while doing the chapter you can just ignore these columns temporarily so in brs or this chapter when we are talking about cash book we are talking about what we are talking about the entries made in the bank column of your cash book in this chapter when we are saying cash book we are talking about the entries made by your accountant or you in the bank column of your cash book so always cash book in this chapter meaning the bank we are talking about the details of the bank the transactions of the with which you had with the bank and what you recorded in the cash book so cash book in this chapter would mean the bank column so though if you will not find the mention of this bank column regularly in the problems you but you have to still remember we are talking about this cash book bank column for our convenience i have just ignored and removed the other columns so that you will understand better what is this bank column what you did in the previous chapter in the previous chapter you did cash book with a bank column and you have seen whatever the transactions you have made within which bank is involved or bank or your bank was one of the party that we entered respectively on the debit side and credit side according to whether a particular transaction with the bank is resulting in your bank balance or decrease of your bank balance according to you for example let us say you deposited money in the bank De i'll write few transactions directly suppose deposited cash oblique checks in the bank so this is what this was one of the transactions you recorded in the bank that is deposited cash checks so you entered the amount in your bank column that means according to you when you deposit money your bank balance will increase your bank balance will increase when you record anything on the debit side of your cash book similarly when you took out money from the bank or you have given check to someone in such a case you remember that according to you your bank balance came down or your bank balance will naturally come down so when your bank balance will come down when you issue issue means or you can say give checks or withdraw cash 
basically most of the transactions in the cash book chapter revolved around these two transactions which you entered respectively on the debit side and on the credit side either as two cash or two name of the person etc etc now apart from that if you remember there were few transactions which you entered in the bank column such as for example two interest to interest comma dividends comma to interest dividends etc on investments now what is the meaning of this that is you know that you have invested money elsewhere that organization has given you some income that is it might be in the way of interest or dividends and you have entrusted the responsibility to your banker to collect the money or you ask those organizations to send these amounts to your banker so the moment the bank receives these amounts from the organizations etc it will enter in your account after getting the details of that you enter it in the debit side of your cash book because your bank balance will increase similarly uh you let us assume you had some insurance claim some insurance claims you had some you have some policy some damage has happened to your machinery maybe vehicle etc so you lodged a claim with your insurance company in such a case the insurance company will send the amount what you have claimed to your bank what your bank will do it will receive the amount and enter into your account so when you know that bank has entered into your account or you received money and bank intimates you or you get the information you enter it on the debit side of your cash book similarly when you record let us say you have some customers you know as a business basically accounting we are always using the word business businessman transaction etc so as a businessman let us assume you sold goods to someone and you told that your customer to directly deposit the money into your bank account suppose the customer has deposited and has intimated to you and you checked there was a deposit so you can say these transactions you record on the debit side of your cash book in the bank account so to i'll write to direct deposits etc so basically these are some of the transactions which you record in your cash book on the debit side in the cash column now one important thing you observe here i have used the transaction deposited cash oblique checks but for remaining i just put two interest on dividends two insurance claims two direct deposit now if you actually see the last three entries basically i will enter these transactions into my cash book only after i get the information from the bank before receiving the information i will not enter this into cash book that means bank has to give me information about these things then only i will enter after checking it with bank documents or whatever these details onto the debit side of my cash book but whereas deposit of cash into bank or a deposit of check what i have with me into a bank i will directly enter this because this is directly i am dealing with the bank it's not via someone as in cases of these so therefore 
I record these transactions the moment I am doing this with the bank. Now similarly on the payment side we said that checks issued or the cash drawn etc. Because I am the one who gives the check. I know because of this if not today tomorrow my bank balance will come down. As a result I record it on the credit side of cash book. Similarly just like how we have some transactions which we enter into cash book only after we receive the information from the bank there are also some transactions which we enter onto the credit side of the cash book into the bank column only when we get the information from banks such as for example by service charges by service charges by collection charges by collection charges then next is if you see uh, you can say bank charges bank charge all are one and the same because bank is doing you some service as a result it will expect you to pay to it some charges which we usually call service charges but you might find also as collection charge or bank charge etc now why because bank is helping you to get your money or helping you to pay your money to someone maybe he is not in this country at all so for that all that reasons you have to pay some charges to the bank so when bank intimates about this you record it on the credit side of your past cash book now next by direct payments by direct payments now what are direct payments direct payments could be just like here we said your customers gave you money directly you ask them to deposit your bank similarly you purchase goods or you have to pay money to someone those people would ask you to pay the money directly okay as a result what you do is you instruct your bank to make the payments and you might even give the dates on which the payments have to be made. Since the bank makes the payment and intimates you, you record it on the credit side of your cash book in the bank column. Now, next you might have the side interest on overdraft, interest on overdraft. Now what is this overdraft? Overdraft you know is a temporary credit given by the bank. What is this? It is the facility given by the bank to its current account holders. As a businessman your account with the bank will be always called as a current account. So a current account holder gets the facility of an overdraft. What is the facility whenever you don't have the money, required money in the bank to give checks to someone. If you are having the overdraft facility which the bank extends to you, in such a case, even if you issue the check, the payment will be made by the bank. Later on, bank will take back this money from your account whenever you put money and also charges some interest on it because it is something just like your loan. As a result your interest on overdraft is will reduce your bank balance because that is the money which you have to pay to the bank. So we record it on the credit side of our cash book whenever such situation arises or a bank intimates us. Next Similarly, if you so there is something called dishonor of bills, something called dishonor of bills, even in such a case, that case, the bank will take away money from you, might be which it has given previously to you. As a result, your bank balance will come down. So these are some of the important reasons for which you, your bank balance decreases and these transactions are first 
no in initiated by the bank later on you get the information and you record it in the cash book on the credit side so i have separated these transactions because these transactions can be entered by you into the cash book that is the ones which i have put in the box here and circled here they have they can be entered by you into your cash book only after you refer what we call as a bank statement or what we call traditionally a pass book now we said it is bank reconciliation statement is a statement prepared on a particular date in order to reconcile the differences between the cash book and pass book we have discussed what a cash book is now let us briefly discuss what is a pass book a pass book is nothing but now as a account as you have done journals ledgers etc so you have done in order to ensure that you have knowledge of all your financial details and transactions so that ultimately you will be able to calculate your profit correctly and also you will be able to ascertain your true financial position as such is similarly banks are also nothing but commercial organizations they also deal with people they also deal with money a several banking products are there etc as a result whenever they deal with each individual that means it is leading to a transaction now whenever there is a transaction you know you have to record it so all your transactions with the bank are also recorded by banks in their accounting books as a result whenever you deposit money or whenever you credit or whenever you withdraw money it is a transaction from bank point of view also so a bank also will journalize a bank also will prepare ledger etc etc so the moment you open an account with the bank with some minimum balance the bank creates a ledger in your name so in the ledger book of bank every customer whether individual or a business organization will have his or her account into which bank will post the one aspects of the transactions while doing the ledger posting so you can say passbook passbook is nothing but a copy it is a copy of customers copy of customers account as how it is maintained as how it is maintained by the bank in its ledger in its i can say general ledger that means every account holder whenever he opens an account his name in his name one account is created you know what is an account because you have done ledgers so in the general ledger general ledger is nothing but you can say it is a book now this it is opened it is maintained so whenever there are any transactions it is entered or posted into this account and a copy you can say something like a snap or something like a xerox copy something like a, a what you can say print out etc is provided to the customer so you can say this copy or this snapshot or this uh, what you say statement or print out etc is nothing but your pass book so that is why we say pass book is a copy copy means it can be in the booklet form the information that comes to you it can be in a statement form that is on a sheet of print out or it can be communicated to you electronically nowadays through your mobile phone or email etc 
so that is what is your pass book so pass book doesn't mean it is a very big book it is this information because traditionally this information was communicated through a booklet that is why that is why it is called as a pass book generally whenever you open an account you would get a pass book now the rule is whatever information bank is recording in the uh, in your account in its ledger book it will enter the same into this pass book whenever you approach your bank official for updating it updating is nothing but you give this book to your bank officials they see how the in your account the amounts have been entered that is you received what you paid what to whom through the bank that details are exactly entered in your pass book so nothing but you can say suppose if you go to bank suppose if you go to bank and they show this is your account if you take a snapshot of it or a photograph of it that is nothing but your pass book so but pass book is a document which bank gives to you and you regularly go to the bank to get entries made by bank officials in it as already they would have entered in the original copy of the your account which they have in their ledger so that you can say in a way pass book entries would be exactly the opposite of cash book entries why because whenever you deposit cash into bank whenever you deposit cash into bank that means from your point of view bank is the receiver and your cash is going out so you credit the bank that is why you uh, sorry you debit not credit i'm sorry you debit the bank account similarly imagine the same from bank's point of view suppose your bank is getting money from you so in in the case of bank cash is coming in and you are the giver so bank what is the rule of account say debit what comes in so bank is getting cash so bank will debit cash then from where it is getting let us assume from you so you means person so you are the giver so credit the giver from bank point of view it has to credit the giver so that is why the entries when you put this cash book what you prepared and the pass book what you have which bank is actually preparing it the entries of the amounts will be on the opposite side that means whatever you see here the same could be there on the debit side of pass book and whatever you see here the same could be there on the credit side of pass book so they are exactly opposite so when you have that is why we let us briefly see what is the format of the cash book the regular format of pass book is it is you can say this format only but with a slight modification because bank will be showing how your balance increases or decreases with reference to every single transaction what you perform with the bank for example let us assume this is, let us the format is a very simple format there is a date column you can say details or particulars then there will be debit amount and credit amount and finally there is a balance column so instead of the t format it will be in this format with which shows the following details now how the passbook record is maintained for example let us assume that is uh, you have on 11 2017 you opened the bank account with a balance of okay so they will give opening of account let us assume opening of account now what is happening you are giving money to the bank 
while opening the account. So you are the giver. So it will enter the amount in the credit. That means whenever the amounts are getting entered in this credit column of the passbook, that means your balance will be called as a favorable balance. It will be called favorable. Maybe it is written as 300 favorable. Now, in some cases you will find these columns as withdrawals. The debit columns is nothing but withdrawals. That is when you remove your money from the bank or your money you instruct your bank to give to someone or pay to someone that amount whatever it is it is entered in the withdrawal column similarly this is called deposit column that is when you put money in the bank etc so this is what is the simple format of the passbook for our convenience if the reasons are this. What are the reasons? Look into the cash book and tell. Here in this case, the bank balance is coming down. So the same reason. For example, it will be written service charges. Then let us assume paid to, this is direct payment. Let us say you made some payment to Mr. Krishna. So you won't find it as direct payment rather you will find Mr. Krishna and the amount will be entered in the withdrawal column. Similarly interest it will be stated interest on OD that is overdraft it will be entered in this column. Then similarly dishonor of bill it will be mentioned dishonor of check or bill receivable whatever so in all this case for these entries what you made in the cash book on the credit side the amounts will be debited in the passbook that is they will be entered in a withdrawal column as a result whatever balance you may have here it will be coming down every time for example let us say service charges is 10 so 300 was your previous balance 10 rupees bank is taking a service charge so this balance will be written as 290 favorable let us say direct payment to mr krishna you are you gave a check to mr krishna let us say 50 rupees so he has collected money from the bank so bank will reduce 50 rupees from your balance so this becomes 240 similarly interest on od maybe let us assume this is not there then dishonor of bill let us assume it is 40 rupees so bank will minus here 40 rupees so this becomes 200 this is how the bank keeps track of your balance after every single transaction then what is recorded in the deposit column here they are for example let us say interest on FD. You have an FD with the bank that is fixed deposit. So annually you asked your bank to give your interest. So bank is giving you interest. So what is it is doing? That money what you should get from the bank it is just adding to your account. Let us assume it is 50. So 200 was the balance. 50 rupees interest you got. 